These are my uh, aminos for the day. Let's talk peptides, people. Peptides are just amino acids. They can be used for all sorts of different shit. BPC-157, for me, my body's been jacked up, so I'm taking some of this every morning. So if you order BPC online or any of these peptides, first thing you gotta do is constitute it. Once it's constituted, it has to be left refrigerated. So just take one cc of backwater. Ooh. And this is this is stuff that you can just buy on the internet. This isn't an anabolic. This is nothing like this. This is you can get this prescribed by a doctor. This is simply just the for shit. recovery. Yep. So I first got introduced to BPC 157 in 2020, 2020 when I tore my abdominal wall. I tore it three inches. I had to get a huge thing of mesh put in, um, and. I was supposed to be down for like six to eight weeks. Somebody at the gym introduced me to BPC. Is some HRT guy. He does like hormones, peptides, the whole thing, kind of like um, Transcend. Put me on BPC. I started taking it. Unfortunately, at the time, I believed that it was more spot injection. So like if I had shoulder surgery, you're going in the shoulder. If you tore your bicep, bicep. Now, <laughs> that has been more dis proven there's still like a little benefits but it's more systemic so you don't really got to focus on just that one specific area um but anyway back to the whole hernia surgery it cut my time from like six to eight weeks to like two to three weeks and i was back training 100 percent. so um so yeah that is my little tidbit let's get this bitch rolling we got tato here day one let's get it You know what they say, life's a bitch, learn how to fuck it. So, I just want to hop on before we go to the gym, kind of just talk about what's been going on, um, talk a little bit about our, our training, what's changed, the reason behind that. So, first off, Nick is just under three weeks. He's two weeks and some change out from his classic debut for Tampa. <clears throat> so, a few weeks ago, we train hard, right? And part of that when you're going into prep is, you know, lowering inflammation, making sure you're recovering well. And on our PPL split, I don't care who you are, there's no way if you train chest as hard as humanly possible on Monday, you're gonna be recovered all the way by Friday to put forth like that same amount of output if you are training like as hard as we've been training. So I went out of town, Nick and Ariel talked, uh, and we broke our split up into a bro split. So Monday, chest try, Tuesday, back by, Wednesday, quads, calves, Thursday, rest, Friday, shoulders, Saturday is uh, glutes and hamstrings. So um, the biggest thing that I noticed right out the gate is being able to press more on like my pressing movements. Cause the first week I missed legs with Nick. So this is like our third week and last week was like my first legit week. Output was a lot better, was recovering a lot better. Nick dropped a ton of inflammation, started looking a lot harder. Same with me, I started looking a lot drier and harder. That's gonna be the focus moving forward. One thing that people should take note of is don't be one dimensional. Don't put yourself in a box and be like, this is how it is, this is how I'm gonna do it and never be open to change. So I used to be an eight to 10 rep guy. Now I'm more like 12 to 15 minimum, but more times than not, it's like 12 to 20. So that changed. I used to, I used to do a lot of different things. I used to just bang weights out. Now I'm really focused on uh, time, tempo, form, everything. I still think there's a place to just go in and bang it out, especially when you first get into it, you wanna like, develop that strength and chase that strength. And then once you've kind of established the strength, then focus a little bit more on the form and stuff. I think too many people are getting too much paralysis from over analysis. They're going into it and they, they're like, I gotta be perfect. You don't gotta be perfect. Um, when you get to like where I'm at and you're benching 400 pounds, yeah, I'm not gonna keep progressing and then bench 500 pounds because then I'm just more at risk of injury. So then you still have to progress within that um, constraint right progressive overload so other ways that you can still be progressing you know execution time under tension range of motion all these things are things that you can improve on a lot of the times with a training split for me and nick 
we'll get to a certain point where we're really, really hitting it hard and we're lifting really heavy. Maverick! He knows instantly. He's like, I should not have done that. So, uh, we'll get to a point and we're like, okay, we're lifting really heavy. I don't think we can get much heavier than that. Then we'll dial it back and then we'll re-cement those training patterns. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of like thought process on training. That's why we're doing the things we're doing. If you ever run into an, uh, an area and you're like, dude, I just feel like I'm not recovering or my legs feel super watery, um, anything like that. Those are things that you want to discuss with your coach, try to come up with a solution. Um, any good coach has a workaround. You know, I have 30 different splits that I could put an athlete on and you know, I'm always open to feedback. I'm always open to change. So if you get a coach and you're all running the same thing, you're all eating the same thing, um, that might be something that you want to take a look at. But anyway, super excited to get after training today. I'm going to eat my pre-workout meal. Um, I've been, I try to eat an hour and a half before right now I'm sitting at an hour 15 which is fine. Um, we'll get over there a little early. I've been doing a lot of hip mobility stuff, making sure that back stays, stays feeling all right. Um, I was getting dry needled like you guys saw in the last video every single week. And now I've just started doing like hip mobility stuff and I'm feeling a lot better. So still a place for dry needling, especially if you're injured. Uh, massage obviously has a place, but you know, you gotta do some stuff on your own, especially, <laughs> sorry, right, it's freaking out. If you guys ever, uh, if you guys have an injury or you have back problems, shoulder issues, knee issues, whatever, ankle issues, you need to do your own due diligence and work on that in your free time. You know, like you can't just be like, oh, I have an injury. i am got to like deal with it, you know, because that's going to compound. Yeah, maybe when you're 20, you can get away with that. But I can tell you right now, I'm just 27 and I can't get away with half the shit I did four or five years ago. So, so yeah, just get into the gym, make sure you're doing your proper shit, especially like all you guys that have back issues, really be warming up the hips, really be doing some back extensions, stretching, ab work, shoulders, same thing. Make sure you're doing internal, external rotations. There's a workaround for everything. So anyway, if you guys ever need help rehabbing an injury, you guys ever want my two cents, you know, you can DM me whenever I'll, always give you you know my two cents um it might not be what you want to hear but it's what you need to hear so that's a meal this is half of it substantially higher than it was a year ago actually it's double more than double i think i'm eating like two and a half times as much food as i was eating last year so i was at 150 grams this is 300 grams and then when i do my uh cereal it's four cups of cereal which is like 160 grams of carbs. So we're eating. All right, bitches, it's a Monday. So Mondays mean caffeine. So I'm taking the intake pre-workout. It's like our all-in-one pre-workout. I pretty much just rotate between this and uh, hydraulic. As you can see, I have a fairly decent amount of pre-workouts. <laughs> so I just rotate flavors and different things. This just came out. This one's also fire, so I'm probably gonna take that one tomorrow, but anyway, we off to the gym, motherfuckers. We're doing this to five plates probably. Actually, me and Nick haven't hit chest yet since the new split. Yeah, this first time. I was in here, I don't remember what I had, and then the week before I was in here. And then the week before I was late as fuck. So basically, I just fucking suck. Is training the same this week for you? No need to pull back this week. Is it next weekend? Two weeks. Two weekends. I love Mondays. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I just feel fresh on Mondays. Take this off. Yeah. Oh.
Damn, we're doing the whole stack? Yeah. Fuck, I feel a lot better. I was like, damn, my strength fell down. Still got 15. Oh. How much is the stack? 240. Yeah, 240. But with like the, the tension on the cable, I'd say probably like 280. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't feel like 240. Yeah. The kind of traditional barbell, probably like 280. Yeah. This is my favorite machine though. Yes, sir. One more, one more, one more, one more. Dicky. Dicky, come on. You gotta lift the ground. Let's go. Yeah, let's On my right side, like, dude, I was like, yeah, I hit like eight and boom, dropped. I was like, oh, big goal. Hit your finger? Yes. Shit sucks. Oh. All right, well, my goal for this set is four. Anything over four is a dub. Yeah. You're about it. Go. Oh, I'm two weeks out. I gotta pull back. Fuck that shit. Not in this camp. Oh, my labia is hurting. I have a show in 10 days. Bitch. Look at this shit. Sahara Drive, bro. It's crazy. It's a dub ski right there. I've had two people today say, don't you usually have glasses, long hair? I'm like, yeah. Always wear a hat. 35 pounds lighter. <laughs> bro, think about it this way. I did my first show on 21, and then I linked up with like one of the best coaches in the game. And then my first year as a pro, I linked up with this guy. So like, she killed all the way up. Yeah, I'm getting all the fucking shortcuts. Yeah, I'm running full hacks. I got my aimbot on, I'm playing walls. You can see all these fools. That was done. That was the failure. It's all Yay. Don't do it. Tip for the day. That's all people need to know. I'm gonna put it on my put on your fucking bridge. My vision board. <laughs> all my vision board's just arms, like people hitting the fucking crucifix and shit. You hear that, people? New Year's resolution. Have arms by 2025. If not, I'm killing myself on live stream for all to see. Come on.
Bomb hangout was on Friday night at Duke Nightclub. Oh, fucking right, people. On our way home, that was a banger. I was, I am very tired. Um, Takeaway from today's training is my triceps need to get a lot stronger because we're shooting for 20 reps on those last ones. I was getting like 13, 15. Nick's like three weeks out, still getting 20. So definitely needs to come up, but hey, room for improvement. Might swim, it's a nice 103 right now. So not too hot, which is insane to say out loud. But um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good one. What we got going on uh, in the coming weeks, we got, uh, I'm gonna be home for the show. That's the first week of August. I got a few guys competing. And then life update or like prep update. Um, the time this video comes out, I will be like 35, 34, 35 weeks out. So I do have a show in mind. You guys can try to figure out which one that is. Um, I'm currently in a health phase. I'm week two of a health phase. So probably gonna get a little skinnier, a little smaller is what it is. Right now I'm just bumping my cardio up to like 30 minutes i've really been doing like 20 minutes like two to three times a week i'm gonna up it to 30 every day um try to just drop get my markers really in a good shot for when i get my blood work done at the end of this health phase just set myself up for one last good push because by the time that's done i'll be like 30 weeks out do like a little 10 week growth and then i'm 20 weeks out and there i am prepping again so Super excited to prep. Um, I feel like I've added some good size. I definitely look substantially more professional when I'm on prep too, so I enjoy being on prep. Um, I feel like where I shine is I get in really good shape. So um, I'm excited to just kind of see what I've added and what I need to continue to work on. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna head home, like I said, and just hang out. But I appreciate you guys, kind of a longer video, talked about a lot of shit, a lot of rants. So hopefully you guys were able to pull some little treasures out of that and can apply that to your own training, or your own like thought processes. So as always, I appreciate the support guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your homies. And yeah, peace bitches.